Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be going through the proof for the angle sum identities for both sine and cosine. And I call it a proof because we're going to start with uh, the knowledge of Euler's formula, which is shown here, which is uh, e to the i theta is equal to cosine theta plus i sine theta. So it's relating the exponential to uh, the trigonometric functions cosine and sine. And so what we're looking for are the angle sum identities. The first one is cosine of a plus b, and the other is sine of a plus b where a and b are angles, you might see alpha or beta used in other uh, proofs, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just calling it a plus b because it's easy to write. And the way that we're going to do this is we're going to substitute in theta is equal to a plus b into uh, e to the i theta. Okay, so I've rewritten e to the i theta here, and we're just going to plug in theta is equal to a plus b, so that's what I did here. And then uh, you can write this as the uh, product of e to the i a times e to the i b. And so I'm going to bring this down here, and I'm going to uh, color code this so that all of the real parts are in blue and all of the imaginary parts are in red. So. Uh, since we just took uh, a plus b for theta, I'm just going to plug it into the equation that we had on the previous board, the Euler's formula definition. And so now we're going to have cosine of a plus b plus i sine of a plus b. So that's this here. Now with the product, let's expand this out. So for the e to the i a, just plug in a for theta in the Euler's formula, and you get cosine a plus i sine a. Similarly, for e to the i b, we just plug in b for theta, and we get cosine of b plus i sine b. And now what I'm going to do is just uh, foil this, so f multiply the first, outer, inner, last, and we get this here. And this is still color coded with uh, in terms of the real and imaginary parts. So the first is cosine a times cosine b. That's here. That's a real part. And then the second is, is the outer. So we end up having cosine a times i sine b. And even though this is the real part here, uh, it becomes an imaginary because we have the i here. So we have i times cosine a times sine b. Now we have inner, which is going to be i sine a times cosine b. And then the last term uh, looks like it'll be imaginary perhaps, but then you find out that when you multiply i times i, you get i squared. And we have a sine a sine b here. And the i squared is just equal to 1 because i is defined as the square root of negative 1. And so what you have here is just the, uh, you end up having two real parts and two imaginary parts. All right, now what I've done is I've grouped the real and imaginary parts together. Again, real and blue, imaginary and red. So I took the two blues, and we have cosine A, cosine B, minus sine A, sine B. Then we have the imaginaries, plus I, sine A, cosine B, plus sine B, cosine A. And if you go back to what we originally wrote, this E to the I, A plus B, and we wrote it out using Euler's formula again, saying cosine of A plus B plus I sine A plus B. If we look at this term here, that's equal to this real part's equal to this real part, and this imaginary part's equal to this imaginary part. And if we just write these out, these are our final uh, angle sum identities. So for the cosine a plus b, we have cosine a, cosine b, minus sine a, sine b. And for sine a plus b, we have sine a, cosine b, plus sine b, cosine a. And while this isn't really a proof, um, there is a geometric proof that you can find online, but this one I think is easier if you're taking a test and you forget what these formulas are and you need to derive it, it's easiest to go from this Euler's formula derivation. So thanks for watching.